You're watching Get the Skinny with your hosts, Brian Kilby and J.D. Church. So this is Get the Skinny, Episode 1. I am Brian Kilby, and with me I have J.D. Church. Hey, J.D., how's it going? Going great, sir. How are you? I am awesome. So what is Get the Skinny? Uh, well, it's, uh, I mean, it's a couple of different things. One thing is it's you and I attempting to lose weight. So we're going to be talking about uh, our methodology process, you know, ups and downs, just uh, just our general progress. Right now it's an up. Uh, now it's, as far as the weight, it's, it's on the up. The idea is to go down. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be one thing. We'll, we'll also, I think we'll, one of the other things we want to do is we want to talk about uh, good science, good methodology as far as uh, weight loss. Now, we are not scientists, nor are we nutritionists. We have to, we have to or share dieticians. that. Or dietitians. Right. Or dietitians, yeah. We are right. uh, guys who are trying to lose weight. Uh, I've done it before. I uh, lost about 170, 180 pounds. Uh, honestly, I was so fat when I started losing weight that I didn't have a scale that could measure me. I was north of, um, I was north of 400 pounds, which, you know, that was, that was my height. Um, I, I dropped down to about 240 pounds, which, um, was pretty good, uh, for me, given my build. Uh, but, uh, I've gone, I've gained back about a hundred pounds. So I'm the heaviest that I've been in, uh, almost six years. So I, I can't, 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 can't do that. Bad Brian. Bad. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, um, yeah, and and as Brian said, like I said, we're we are not professionals, so uh, anything that we say on this show is basically our opinion. It's just uh, us talking, and of course, uh, before you would start any kind of weight loss program, consult your uh, doctor. Always make, yes, always make sure to consult your physician. So that being said, um, uh, yeah, and we both, I, I think we both kind of had the had the thing where we've struggled with weight for a long time. Um, I was heavier than I am now. Uh, I weighed in today at. Uh, 513 uh my Please. heaviest w was about i'm sorry no go ahead go ahead my heaviest was about 560 now i had uh, i actually had a gastric stapling back in uh 2000 early 2000 and uh obviously that didn't stick so I, and right. a lot of us don't really realize um that that can happen but that totally you know there's totally i guess for lack of a better word recidivism for uh for that yeah, I mean, well, and this was also, it's not like the current tech, which is like the lap bands, and, and there's a little bit different tech that goes into it. So the technology for it has evolved, uh, as it would. Um, the method that my surgery was pretty invasive, and uh, not necessarily, I, I think, in the long term, the best results. But, uh, you know, anyway, um, I've, I've obviously put most of that back on. So now I'm going to try to do it the old-fashioned way. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do, um, I, I guess we, sh we should sort of talk a little bit about this. We'll, we'll um, do, that, this, do that through the course of the show. Get the Skinny is um, our attempt to sort of uh, lose weight. Uh, one thing that I did when I lost weight is I did it in public. Um, I went on the, my radio station. I, I've worked in radio for uh, almost half of my life. I'm old. But um, I, I was on the radio, and I actually gave a weekly update on weight loss, and it was a tremendous uh, asset in um, you know my arsenal uh, toward weight loss. I quit doing it. Uh, I quit having a focus on my weight loss, and you know I, a couple things here and there, and I ended up gaining a, a quite a bit of weight back. But no, we we it's not just for us. We want to help you lose weight. Um, you know, we're not we're not people who have are like three percent body fat, who have never been overweight in their entire life. That's that's what really angers me about uh, most people who, you know, try to teach you how to lose weight. They've never been fat themselves. Uh, I've been all I've been what I would consider nearly super fit, and I've been incredibly fat. So um, I, I think we, what we really want to do is help you in uh, your weight loss as well. And uh, we want to be interactive, as interactive as can be. So you can email us at contact at tfradio.net. Or you can uh, please sound off on our Facebook fan page, which is at um, facebook.com slash tfradio. Or Twitter. Or Twitter, yes, uh, GTS Podcast. We are at GTS Podcast. Uh, our most of you know uh, this is uh, Radio Free Cybertron, the, the network. Um, we we're trying to separate, get the skinny a little bit because we don't want to mix our stuff. We don't want to get peanut butter into our chocolate, so to speak. 
Uh, we feel that Get the Skinny is, yeah, I know, not really Wonderful the most analogy yes. for what we're trying to do. Yeah, we, we feel that Get the Skinny is a little different than, it doesn't really f- mesh with the rest of our content, or maybe it does. I mean, if you go to BotCon, there are a lot of fat people. But, um, you know, we want to sort of keep this separate. Uh, we, we we see these as two separate things. But uh, we our Facebook page is blended. Twitter's not so much. So. Um, but one of the things, uh, I mean, I think, that that I'm interested in, and of course, is uh, reason-based, science-based, yes. you know, good methodology. Uh, so the one thing that we might uh, talk about, one thing that we'll do on the show is we'll talk about news stories, we'll talk about uh, articles that we've read or things, we'll talk about it from a, a critical thinking, from a good science standpoint. So one thing I thought that we would talk about a little bit today, real quick, uh, is the Twinkie diet. Ah, uh, yes, I uh, heard about this on the Skeptic's Guide a few weeks ago. So uh, uh, a researcher, I think he was a, a nutritionist. He's a nutritionist, yes. Uh, in Kansas State University, basically went on a diet where for two months, I think it was, he uh, ate nothing but Twinkies and other fairly what would seemingly be unhealthy things. Uh, the trick was is that it, he held it to 1,800 calories yes, per day. So... Uh, and then also took uh, a certain amount of supplements, yeah. right, just to make sure that uh, he was getting a proper caloric intake. Uh, and so at the end of the thing, he had gained 300 pounds. No, 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 no. No, no, no he no. did not. He lost 27 pounds. Almost 30 pounds he lost eating Twinkies. Eating Twinkies. So, you know, of course, you, you have to ask the question, well, why did this happen? Of course, everything that we have heard uh, from... You know, Quacks. The, Pop research, yeah, or quacks, or you know, like supersized me, is that it's the food, right? It's the it's the bad food, it's the high calorie food, it's the uh, the sugars or the or the preservatives or whatever. These are these are the real bad guys. These are the things that are making us fat. Not so much. No, no, it's not, it's not. It 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 is. It truly is calories in, calories out. It's how much calories do you eat versus how much exercise do you do? Now, I don't, I don't, I think he went on 1800 calories, but I don't think he changed his exercise routine any. But I think he may have been lean as far as what is caloric. Well, he, he lost, food. well, he, he lost 27 pounds, so he couldn't be super lean because that would have been, a, you know, quite a bit of muscle loss. So he probably, right. you know, just because you're a nutritionist or a doctor doesn't mean that you're super fit. I know a nutritionist right. that's like heavier than I am, so. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, awesome. and and well, and that's a distinction too. But I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, I want to talk about this real quick. But, um, but I think I mean, but again, when it comes down to it, and this this is like what I, my method is going to be. Like I've I've done a lot of work over the last month or two months to try to get a handle on my caloric intake, like what kind of food I'm eating, how I'm eating. Um, basically, for me, like during the week, I eat one bowl of oatmeal for breakfast every morning with a banana lunch i eat a salad and then dinner is whatever it is we eat and i've cut down a lot on my snacking or at least bad snacking so i've, I've snacking got... is not bad we just want to yeah. we just want to share that snacking is good and if yeah, i found because... that snacking has really helped curb my appetite throughout the day well and i make a distinction between like good snacking and bad snacking like good snacking would be uh, you know a small calorie like like a 100 calorie snack pack or something like that just enough to satiate you and keep you going, but not enough to, to weigh you down. Bad snacking would be like a large candy bar, you know, every hour or yeah. something. Sneaking in a be... candy bar would not necessarily be a bad thing. If, you, if you're if you really craving chocolate, well, give, it, give it in once in a while. It's, you know, it's right. better that you give in a little bit occasionally than give in completely. Yeah. And again, it's all about what your total calories are. So if you're spreading that out, you can do that. Um but uh, well, and I lost my train of thought. But ultimately, what I was getting at is that um, I don't know. Go ahead. So basically, um, it's it's what you eat. Uh, right. Psycho calories in, calories out. People think that you can't. Uh, lose weight by eating fast food. I mean, that's hogwash. Uh, JD mentioned Super Size Me earlier. Um, that movie really sort of. You know, it, in a way, it, in a way, it gave a false representation of you know fast food in America because, of course, he uh, 
you know, he ate basically unlimited amounts of food. Uh, he didn't watch what he ate. Um, he, if some, if they said, "Hey, do you want to supersize this?" Absolutely, and you know, showing showing the nutritional value of the, of the it came from it came from a you know a certain perspective or point of view. Uh, he didn't. The, the 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 movie wasn't about. Hey, yes, you can eat healthy by going to McDonald's, and it really did sort of change um, the the strategy that McDonald's and Wendy's and these other fast food restaurants um, have when it when it comes to you know serving food. You know, Wendy's got rid of their biggie size. Uh, McDonald's cut down their soft drink size too. I believe uh, the largest drink at McDonald's is actually now about the size of the uh, medium at Taco Bell. Um, but you can absolutely eat healthy-ish at uh, McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, Subway, and these sort of places. I actually find it easier to eat um, healthy at uh, fast food places than uh, what people would traditionally consider healthier, you know, sit-down restaurants. Uh, sit-down restaurants, they ob- oftentimes uh, obfuscate the, um, they hide the nutritional menu. I mean, the nutritional values. That you, it's like, hey, can I see, uh, no. You you may not. <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, McDonald's. Well, you know they, they have it, they have it right there on the package. It's 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 the best thing. Yeah, yeah and I mean especially yeah, I mean eating out can be at a sit down restaurant. Yeah, because typically they're cooking with you know whole cream and high octane. butter and you know I mean they're yeah they're cooking with good ingredients, but calories taste really good and they're goal is to make it taste good so bring you back yeah exactly and i mean you know i'm not vilifying them they're not doing anything wrong it's just the nature of that kind of food and again there's nothing wrong with eating it like food is not bad eating is not bad what's bad is when you don't get a handle on it when you don't consciously know what you're eating how much you're eating and then how much activity you need to do to work that off i mean i've gotten to the point now where i sort of leveled off i'm right around that 515 area but i'm not exercising at all i'm going to start this week but i haven't exercised at all and to increase my activity level i think is going to help to start pushing raising your metabolism yes Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been walking some with my wife, but I lead a very busy schedule, uh, which <laughs> I share all the time. But it's true. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is uh, make a, a better effort um, to exercise every day. I used, and, and I'll be honest, when I, I said I lost close to 200 pounds, I was exercising between three to seven hours a day. And I was sleeping between three and five hours a day. So uh, I, I didn't really pursue it in the healthiest way possible. Um, but I did it. It's, it's kind of like the show Biggest Loser. Nothing they do on that show is sensible or reasonable. I don't care if they have a doctor, you know, um, on board. It's not really the way to do it. You can do it. I've done it. But I, I wound up back here. Um, so we want to do this in a sort of a measured, reasonable, sensible way. Uh, one early tagline um, that I, I had for the show it was a sensible journey toward weight, weight loss. And I don't think that's exactly going to be the credo of the show, but it, it's it's the general idea. Uh, so uh, one thing, actually, we're doing, if you go to tfradio.net, uh, towards the top, there's a little drop-down that says podcast. You select Get the, sk- get the Skinny. Uh, we're actually tracking our weight on the website. Um, we've both posted it. Uh, we've created diet blogs, which I've actually, that's been something that I've been using for years. I haven't really updated mine since February, but uh, I'm starting back today. Uh, I don't know if, I'm assuming JD is going to do that. I mean, it's, it's entirely, yeah. you know, optional. It, it, but we want to be um, good, um, what I guess, examples for you. So, um, like I said, uh, we're, we're going to do this in, 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 in a sensible way, and we're going to sort of apply... Uh, JD's really gotten me into this whole skeptics thing. I, I've always been a skeptic, but I never identified myself as a skeptic. It's just one of those things that happened organically. So um, I, I was a little bit sensationalized in, in the way that I did this before. I'm going to approach it in a more you know rational-minded way, and hopefully, hopefully for good. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, and as Brian said, I've been I've been a skeptic for a couple of years now, um, as far as that goes, and you know it's really important to me, like I said, that that everything be you know, 
logic based. It'd be reason based. It'd be science based, because there is so much bad information out there. And it's it's you know, tremendous. I get it in my email box every single day. I see it in Google News every single day. Yeah, like I mentioned, I mentioned the nutritionist thing. I mean, one thing to keep in mind, and one thing that we'll talk about on here, is that you know the term nutritionist is not a protected term. Anybody can be a nutritionist. I'm a nutritionist, right? Because I can say that. Uh, dietitian is the one that's protected. So that when you see, you know, a nutritionist or something on like the Today Show or something, you know, take that with a grain of salt. The, the, the things that they're saying may not be true because they may be basing it on preconceived ideas like, you know, fast food is bad for you always or um, aspartame is bad or, you that know, high aspartame thing. Or, yeah, that kills me. But, um, boy, this is all new. We have to talk about all this stuff because, uh, you know, our, our listeners may not know. Aspartame is okay. It doesn't kill you. Uh, no one's ever died from problem. aspartame except for maybe a rat that uh, had, yeah. you know, 10,000 times the, you know, limit that you're supposed to have taken. I mean, water right. will kill you if you drink enough of it. Yeah. So... We'll talk about more. I mean, these are the kind of things that we're going to talk about, though. I mean, this, I mean, this is this is, I think, our opportunity to. And like I said, we don't know anything more. I mean, I know what I read. I know what I do research on myself. And the same for Brian. We're not experts. We're not. You know, we're going through this with you all too. But the idea is that we want to try to be a voice uh, for reason and of reason when it comes to weight loss because we struggle with it. You know, this is this is our albatross, if you will, and. Uh, we, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to help ourselves and help you at the same time. Yeah, uh, it's 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 a it's a group effort. Um, you know, we're we're all in this together. I've had several people email me, tweet me, message me. Hey, Ryan, when are you doing get the skinny? When are you doing when when are you doing this? We started this out actually in September as uh, a pilot. Uh, we didn't even have a name, and right now, as, you, as you've seen by watching this, we don't really have graphics or anything. We have. Uh, uh, it's it, very rough intro and outro, but um, this is all really organic. This is guerrilla podcasting, um, and uh, it, it's it's really cool. Uh, everything else we do is just so highly you know developed and everything. This is this is something new. This is a new way that we're approaching um, podcasting. This is a new way that uh, we're approaching uh, information dissemination, and uh, I'm really excited uh, not only about the potential for weight loss, but the potential to, you know, share in, in, in what we do. Um, we really want this to be interactive, uh, so, um, again, you can follow us on Twitter uh, at GTS Podcast. It's, you know, it's it's easy. We'll, we'll have the link out there. This is going to be posted to uh, not only our website, but uh, also to YouTube. So uh, hopefully uh, all those people out there, we can reach a whole new audience on YouTube um, beyond even... One, one, I guess my one, my one concern has always been it, every, everybody who listens to all of our shows typically find us through uh, Radio Free Cybertron, which is, of course, our flagship show. But uh, this, this has the potential to help uh, far more people than a, a show about Transformers ever could. And it, and it helps a lot of people. I mean, I, I, mean, I got I to gotta admit yeah. that. But, you know. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, uh, we're going to keep this show short, uh, sweet, and simple to the point. I think uh, we're going to shoot for half hour max. We don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, we want you out there. We want you working out. We want you eating healthy. And we want you to think. We want you to approach things uh, with a skeptical point of view. And when you hear something, you know, think, hey, does that make sense? And if it doesn't make sense, don't go with it. Um, and you know, tune in each week, and uh, we're going to do we're going to shoot to do these on Sundays. Uh, you can tune in live at tfradio.net/live. Uh, again, we'll have it posted to YouTube. We'll have a podcast version available. <clears throat> you can actually subscribe to the video on iTunes. Um, it's just look for Radio Free Cybertron video, and it's right there. You can get all of our shows. Do, do we have anything else to add, JD, or is that uh, pretty much it? I think that's I think that's going to do it for this week. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, we definitely want your feedback, so. Uh, I think you could even call. Can, I mean, we still have the yeah. message line ish open. Yeah, it's uh, what nine three nine ninety nine GoBot, isn't that it? Yeah, I think so. But uh, I'll actually but, have know. to let me let me refer to our uh, Facebook page. It's nine three one ninety nine GoBot. So you know, and, and you know, if we have some interesting audio or something, your story, tell us your story. You know, that's I mean, again, we're kind of all in this together. So yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, send us a voicemail at nine three one ninety nine GoBot. Email us a sound file. I mean, that's not hard. Just record it and send it, or you know, email. Email is always great. We want this to be as interactive as possible, and as the show develops, um, hopefully, we can come up with new and innovative ways to share in uh, this with you. So um, again, JD, I guess that's it. So we will tune you in. <laughs> It's it's a show in progress. We'll tune you in next week. Uh, tune in, uh, join in, have fun, lose weight, and uh, get the skinny. This has been Get the Skinny with your hosts Brian Kilby and JD Church. Copyright 2010. Radio Free Cybertron. Get the skinny.